Have you ever watched a football game where the player in goal wasn't an actual goalkeeper? Well, it happens pretty often, and in this video, we'll be looking at 10 times an outfield player has had to play as a goalkeeper in a football match. Of course, we'll start with one of the biggest stages in world football, the UEFA Champions League. When Claudio Bravo, who was in goal for Manchester City against Atalanta in a Champions League group game, was sent off, City had no other goalkeeper on the bench. Edison, who started the game, was taken off due to an injury and was replaced by the Chilean. So Pep Guardiola had to look at one of his outfield players to man the goal for the remaining 10 minutes of the game. Kyle Walker was the chosen one, and you would think he was prepared for the call-up as he ended up making more saves than both of City's keepers combined. But Walker's not the only English defender who's played as a goalkeeper. John Terry has too. It was a Premier League game against Reading way back in 2006. Czech and Kudicini have both been featured and been taken off as a result of injuries, so Chelsea were out of goalkeepers. The captain stepped up, ordered the gloves and went to take his place between the sticks for the rest of the game. And well, John Terry did what he had to do on the day as he prevented Reading from scoring. But you can say that Terry perhaps had it better than Rio Ferdinand. In Rio's case, his first obligation after donning the gloves was to save a penalty. The goalkeeper, whose foul resulted in a penalty for the opponents, was sent off, and since Fergie had used up his subs for the game, Ferdinand had to stay in goal and face the penalty. What do you think happened? Of course, the penalty was scored, but credit to Rio though, he at least went the right way. If you're out of goalkeepers, defenders seem like a logical replacement. These two former English captains we just mentioned were central defenders, so they were not alien to preventing goals. But there's another England captain who once had to stay in goal and it still looks very bizarre to us. Harry Kane, yes, the legendary goalscorer, was once forced to go stay in between the sticks. We all know Kane is very effective when he's close to goal, just not his own. And after that day, surely no manager would try and play Kane as a shot stopper even if there was no other players on the pitch. The striker, who had already netted a hat-trick in that Europa League game, was called to take the gloves when Lloris was shown red. Minutes into his cameo in goal, Kane spilled what should have been an easy catch and pretty much gifted the opponents a goal. But if you think Harry Kane as a goalkeeper is a big shocker, check out Pele in goal for Santos. Just like Kane, Pele scored a hat-trick in that game, and then was called to stay in goal when the Santos keeper could not continue. But unlike the England captain, the Brazilian didn't spill any balls, helping his club make it to yet another final. But we still wonder what inspires managers to pick superstar forwards like Kane and Pele to man the goal when there are defenders on the pitch. Like, imagine when Trapp was red-carded in that PSG Cup game in 2018 and they called on Neymar to step in goal. That would just have been really weird. Well, they went for Dani Alves and that proved to be the right option, as he managed to secure his club's victory. But outfield players playing as goalies is not a thing of the past, not at all. It's only the first month of 2022 and we've already seen two different instances this year alone. We saw Comoros filled a left-back, Chakra al Hada between the sticks from start to finish because all their goalkeepers were unavailable as they all tested positive for COVID. And the defender did excellently, making four saves and letting in just two goals in that knockout game against the host nation. They were knocked out on that day, but surely Shakar was proud of himself and his compatriots were definitely proud of him too. We've also had Serge Aurier play goalie for Ivory Coast when his goalkeeper had a pretty bad injury and had to be taken off. The former Tottenham defender, who is the captain of the Ivorian team, sure did lead by example by sacrificing himself on that day. Speaking of Tottenham, remember when John O'Shea had to step in for Van der Sar in that game against Tottenham way back in 2007? You probably don't, but surely O'Shea will never forget because he managed to keep a clean sheet that day. We will round off this video with perhaps the one time that it was most logical for an outfield player to replace a goalkeeper. Jan Koller manned the goal in a Bundesliga de Classica game after Lehmann saw red. The striker was the natural replacement since Dortmund had used up all their subs on the night. Not only was he the tallest on the pitch at 6 feet 8 inches, 
He actually started his career as a goalkeeper before he was converted to a forward. Are there more instances that we didn't include in this video? Share them with us in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Catch you in the next video. Bye.